Once again, I'm on the road doing personal one-on-one -on -one spiritual encounters. You can meet me somewhere in a city near you, or you can come to our ministry center in Phoenix, Arizona. Either way, we'll teach you how to get free, stay free, and live free. Well, it's that time of year, Halloween, as we approach October the 31st, Usually, they start rolling out the demonic paraphernalia somewhere around the first of the month, but I was shocked this year to see on Labor Day, the aisles of every place from Walmart to Walgreens filled with all kinds of satanic stuff. In fact, in one of those stores, I picked up this card. It says, wishing you a Halloween. Open the card. That's happy in every which way. For more than four decades, I've been sounding the alarm against the holiday of Halloween. In the beginning, I was mocked and ridiculed for my stand, but gradually some evangelical churches saw the light. I'm not sure it's so much that they understood demonic possession, they just didn't want to see their tiny tots trotting down the street dressed up as demons. Now the millennials are proposing to celebrate Halloween, to make it a positive day of imagination. Now, even those who are in favor of Halloween as Christians admit its dark witchcraft, pagan origins with the ancient Druids who practiced human sacrifice and witchcraft. They worship at this time of the year, Lord Sawe, the Lord of the dead. This was the time of the year when the veil between the living and the dead was open and evil spirits and demons could come back to torment the living. And the only way around it was to fool them with a disguise or to treat them when their demonic attack as never before. And a disguise isn't going to do it. There are some in the Christian community who say, well, let's just laugh at the devil in Halloween. That's hardly what the Apostle Paul said in Ephesians chapter 5. He wrote to a culture that had been brought out of witchcraft and paganism, and he said, you were darkness, now you are light. Don't have any fellowship with these things, but rather expose them. This cultural mindset that's so acceptable to witchcraft has had the way paved by things like yoga, Mindfulness, meditation, energy healing, psychics, new age practices of all sorts, making it acceptable to explore paganism. And the witches, the Wiccans, have done a good job of PR, presenting themselves as earth-loving, me-too, politically progressive, gender, spiritual, equality-defending people. In fact, some of them, as you may know, have even put spells on President Trump to try to destroy him. During this witchy season, as all things evil spite, we need to be taking a stand between now and October the 31st. We need to wage spiritual warfare, not accommodate the spirits of darkness, to expose them for all that they represent. In order to do that, you need knowledge and information, and the best place to get that is our International School of Exorcism. Enroll today. Halloween may be for witches, but we can declare that every day belongs to the Lord and redeem it all. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Cancel curses, break soul ties, cleanse your ancestry, and cast out demons. Enroll now in the International School of Exorcism and the Advanced Academy of Deliverance. For the latest information on resources, seminars, conferences, training institutes, retreats, and international missions, go to boblarson.org. Thank you for your prayers and financial partnership.